up you go. Hey kiddo, sorry I'm late again. Work as usual. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, it's comfy down here, but you gotta go to sleep in your bed, right? Come on. Daddy will walk you up and tell you all about his day and you'll fall fast asleep. Be ready for your day tomorrow, okay? Let's put my stuff away. Let's get you properly tucked in. What is this? <laughs> See, isn't this much better than the couch? I told you. You know I'm always right. Or I try to be. to sleep, time to relax. Trust me, I'm not uh, <laughs> foolish enough to think that I'm infallible. I'm definitely wrong sometimes. It's part of being an adult, part of being a human, I guess, regardless of what age. We all make mistakes. <laughs> it's just a part of life. Hopefully, if I do my job well, you'll grow up to be... <clears throat> quite the individual. Level-headed. Oh, I guess I can't really give you your talent. That's all you. All the skills and knowledge you decide to pursue. All the things you want to learn and explore. It's all you. It's your mind, your thoughts, your experience. And you get to choose which path you want to follow. My job is to be your guide, your rock, your anchor. So you sail the seas and ride the different waves. Whenever you need to come back, be a little bit more steady, I'll be here. You can always talk to me about anything. And I'll try my best to be as open as I can, as honest as I can with you. Some conversations, you know, can be difficult, <laughs> maybe even awkward, of course, but that's okay. It's my job to allow you to open up. It's my job to listen and give you guidance. I've been through my fair share of things and I've still got plenty of time, hopefully. And <laughs> I may be biased on certain topics, of course, but you know, That's okay too. I think it's important to have things that you might not 
agree with, you know, uh, challenge you. It's good to bounce your own thoughts and ideals and things you think you know against others. Because we don't all have it right, I don't think. I don't think anyone ever will have it all right. There's too much context, too many variables. Everything's on such a case by case basis, you know? You can always count on me to be there. Always. No matter what. Even if it's hard. Even if it's difficult. There's that saying that, uh, you know, we, we grow up to become our parents and... It's kind of true as I get older, I start to realize, um, even though I don't live the same life path that my parents have, I still have some other quirks, things that I may not have been privy to when I was younger, things I might not have agreed with. Um, now I kind of understand where they were coming from, you know? I'm the age that they were when I was young. That was when they, you know, had me. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's an experience. Sometimes when uh, when I have to ground you or you know, try to teach you a lesson. You might not understand it, but there's a reason. Sometimes that reason doesn't appear until later. <laughs> Way later. As you get older, you just start to realize that, hey, <laughs> nobody has it all. We're all just trying to figure it out day by day, hour by hour. Trying to play with the cards that were dealt. Hope for the best. And try to make opportunities where we can. And that's life. Some people get dealt a really nice hand. That's okay. Others, not so much. But what's interesting is that You can keep, you can keep being dealt more cards and keep playing the game. And who knows, once in a while, you might get dealt something really nice. And it makes it all worth it. First, I wasn't sure if the hand that I was dealt was a good one. But 
but as you get older, and as I see the person that you are becoming, the hand looks a lot better than what I thought. As you get older, sometimes I'm going to express how I want to hold on to that hand forever. Because <laughs> you mean the world to me. And I know someday you're going to want to go off and do your own thing. And um, it's going to be hard. Because the world is uh, can be pretty pretty wild. But if I do my job right, hopefully I can trust that I've done the best that I could to leave you with a straight head on your shoulders sturdy head one with morals and convictions of your own the ability to question the things around you When I was in the military, I used to <laughs> question everything. It was just my nature. I, even the smallest things. Why? Why do we? Th why do we do things the way that we do? I was always in search of uh, finding the most efficient way to do this or that. never quite find it. <laughs> Always had to learn things the hard way, no matter what I did, no matter what, I could try to skip the line, I could try to find little efficiencies here and there, do things quicker, try to get my job done faster and change a thing. Everything still played out exactly as it should. <laughs> and it was tough when I was you know, younger. It was tough. But over time, huh, quickly I learned <laughs> that, uh, you know, a lot of things aren't going to go your way. A lot of things. But over time I started to realize that, you know, those things just really weren't meant to be. What I thought I wanted back then really wasn't. Sometimes it takes a lot of time to find your purpose. And that's okay. Not everybody is an overnight sensation. Not everybody is an overnight millionaire. And if they are, usually it's because they've put in the work beforehand. Most people don't see that, you know? A lot of people are quick to judge. Oh, they didn't work hard for this. They don't deserve that. Because they're blinded by all the, the lights, fame, stories. 
wouldn't see all the many nights that that person was broke, barely could afford anything to eat, or, you know, mentally just in turmoil, trying to survive. still pushing forward dedicated to their craft dedicated to their purpose and eventually stars aligned and things went the right way or the way that they were working towards you know it's an interesting thing to think about hmm Just blabbing, blabbing on. It's a million different ways every day could turn. Time for me to go. I gotta get some shut eye.